Hey everybody, it's Larry Steinhaus, and I just lost the screen, sorry about that. It's Larry Steinhaus, and this is the Larry Steinhaus Show, and I'm sitting here with somebody like, I cannot believe this guy is in my studio audience, and you'll understand in a minute why I say that. And this is the amazing, and I mean amazing, Trevor Evans. And when you hear how I met Trevor, you're going to be like, what? He got him in the studio? How bizarre, <laughs> how bizarre is that? But when you understand why I, I like this guy so much, you will understand why he's here. So everybody say hello to Trevor. Trevor, go ahead, wave to the audience. Hello. All right, there you go. I can't even find your name, so it doesn't matter. I can't put your name underneath. It's fine. Who cares? So so, so Trevor, so I have to tell you how I met Trevor. So this is kind of cool. So, you know, like uh, got a lot of you guys know we have the school here. We teach real estate. We teach stock options trading. And, of course, I want to snoop on my competition. <laughs> <laughs> Competition. <laughs> well, and I wouldn't even call it competition because you're right. Because it, it's very different what yeah. you guys do. Is very, and I tell people that all the time. In fact, I, 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 out of all the things I tell people is get your education. Get your education. Yeah. Get your education. So Trevor's with Legacy, which is like the rich dad. I think it's the rich dad, yeah. poor dad yeah. people, right? Mm -hmm. who, who did, right? So he teaches the Legacy education. So you guys all know about these three-day seminars. You pay whatever, 150 bucks, mm -hmm. whatever it is, right? So I go there for two reasons. One is I go there because, you know, you never know what you're going to learn. And I'll be honest with you. I insist that even my students go to these things because you never know what you're going to learn. But on top of that, I wanted to go and say, hey, you know, what are these guys doing? So I've gone to a couple of, of the competition's places. And, you know, with mixed feelings, some of them I like, some of them I don't like. But Trevor's, I loved. <laughs> that was the key. I was like, when I'm sitting, I'm like, wow. Not only does this guy know what he's talking about, but he's experienced. He does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he's beyond, uh, b beyond. Like, I mean, I, and again, I, I don't even know what to say about you. I, I just, I, I talk about you in my classes to, to, to people all the time, and I can sit here and talk about you all day. But I want let pe I want you to tell people why you think you are as enthusiastic and as great as you are in what you do. Well, Larry, thank you for having me on the show. I, I really appreciate that, and I appreciate the kind words you say about me and, um, and towards me. But um, in working with thousands of people every weekend, um, I've learned that I've become an expert on how people fail. Uh, an expert on how people fail. Yeah. That's awesome. So <laughs> tell me about that. Well, there's, 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 there's two ways that you can fail. One, listen to no one. And two, listen to everyone. Oh, I love that. Listen to everyone. That's a great yeah. way to fail. You're absolutely right. Yeah, because when no one listens to you, you do nothing, right? Take, take no action in life. When everyone's talking to you, you get overwhelmed and take no action in life. Right. And normally, those that are talking to you are repeating words that you've heard anyway before. So I found that it's very, very useful to find people that know more than you, that want to help you, that disagree with you. You know, it's, it's funny you said that. I actually, I actually had a post the other day on Facebook. I don't know if you saw it. I know you and I like to comment uh -huh. each other's posts all the time. But I had a post the other day that I said, don't hang around the, with the people who want to buy your product. Hang around with the people whose products you want to buy. Yes, and, yes, and yes. I, and, I, and, people, and a lot of people didn't get that. No. And I'm like, how could you not get that? I mean, you know, first of all, they might give you the product for free, which is even better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but what if you're the product? Right, e e exactly, right? So, 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 I, so I, I encourage people to hang around me. So, you know, you know, you know, of course, it, you know, just like every, everyone else, you know, I'm a capitalist. So I help people for money mm -hmm. because I'm a capitalist. But the most em enjoyable thing that I get out of this is I get, I love to see the students succeed, and I and I know that's how you feel because right. I know we've talked about some of the students who are in your class. You know, and it's funny. And, and again, you guys are like. What? what is, are, are both of these guys crazy? They're competing against <laughs> each other. No, we're not. No. We're, we have the same goal, and the same goal is to help people. I know I've walked into your class and told people to buy your program right, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I believe in you and I believe and I believe in the education. Right. Now, you know, w w w if I was in a parking lot and they said, should I buy mine or yours, I would tell them to That's buy different. mine, of course. Yes, exactly. But if I'm in your classroom, I would never do that. But at the same time, I also the most important thing to me is, of course, I want people to be educated. I want people to, to, to have a better life and to understand that they can have a better life through real estate. They can have a better life through stock options. They can have a better life through understanding, following successful people. Right, and it's all about people tend to want to learn more stuff and, and get new information, and that's not how 
success really works because people don't like to be told no, right? But that's where um, growth begins. That's where success begins. Find out what's different, okay, and why it's different, okay? Become more inter- interested in in why something is confusing or, or different than the way you think because everyone has a what I call filters, right? And these filters, um, they filter out the information and you get a result. Everyone wants to know what's the secret to success, where can I find it, what can I do, right? But you already have it, you already have it. And I liken it to how I explain um, anyone that's in IT, right? And if you are familiar with the Tandy 1000 computer. Oh yeah, very familiar, That was the very, very first PC, right? Which ran off MS-DOS, right? If I input Windows 10 information in that Tandy 1000, the product, the thing that's going to change my life, it cannot process that, that information. It needs to be either upgraded to Windows or Windows downgraded to, to basic MS-DOS. And that's how success really is because everything that you need to know about success, you already know it. The problem is you don't know you know it because we know so much that we don't know what we know or, what, or, or why we know it. We also don't know what we don't know and why we don't know it. That's why it's important to find people that give you contrast because they can now point out to you the things that you didn't know that you didn't know. And as you get these filters changed out, that's when your results uh, also change. So uh, an educator, right, someone like yourself, myself, what we do is we don't deduce to individuals, put in, teach, okay? We educate because everyone already has the information. Our role is to draw it out of you, organize it, put a plan to it, so you now know how and when to apply the things that, that you already know. And then everything that your people have been talking about all day is, is definitely true. And having a why, having a plan, or having an intention and a goal, um, that's, that's good to have, but it's not enough. Because people will try to t- attain a goal with any plan, okay? And that's not going to work. If you want to attain a goal, you have to, create, you have to have a plan. And the plan must match the intention. If the intention and the plan, the process, or the system do not, is not congruent, then the outcome will not be. So get educated by those that give you contrast so you can now take out the things that don't accomplish a goal and then you now have that plan. So it's, it's pretty much an overhaul of your paradigm. Everyone has the right mindset to become successful, but not everyone has the right paradigm to become successful because your mindset does not process information. The paradigm does that. You can give someone all the information to become successful every day. Will they know how to do it? Probably not. What you have to give them is the paradigm to process that information so they can get the result that they want. So what, so what would be a paradigm that you can give somebody to say, hey, you know, I, I, to, to make someone successful, what would be a paradigm that you would give them? Uh, first, find out why things are where they are. Find out the, because what things, um, one thing you cannot change in anything is the rules or the laws of something, right? It's okay to learn about stock or real estate or lease options or whatever, Okay, that's fine. That's the concept. However, what is the rule that govern that concept? Because that's the one thing that's, that will not change. So if you learn the rule, it's, it's like this. People um, invest and do things with two things. I call them t- two skill sets, talent and enthusiasm, right? Talent being the money they throw at stocks or real estate. The enthusiasm is just the, the drive to want to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, once the talent runs out, the enthusiasm now runs out. Okay, like uh, Herman was said, you play to win the game. Well, the only way to, w- to win the game is to learn, understand, and apply the rules. Just ask J.R. Smith, right, on the Cavaliers. Okay. Um, oh, very, you're a big sports fan. I know very, that. Very, very yeah. talented. Yeah. yeah, very, very talented athlete, right, very enthusiastic, okay, but that one moment where he forgot the rules of the game, which was, hey, if the ball comes to me, just go straight up. I'm going to get fouled or whatever, and then, and, then, and then boom, the Cavs win the game. So learning the rules is what allows you to win the game. That's what allows you to become successful. But that's not what people want to learn because the rules are boring. 
right? Just give me the concept. Tell me what to sure. do. But sure. if you don't know the rules behind it, how will you know how and when to apply it in a certain situation? Because the rules don't change. The concepts do. Once you learn the rules, the concept doesn't matter. You know, it's funny you say that because I talk about the rules all the time. We remember we just had we just had Corey in here talking mm-hmm. about uh, credit, and and it's and it's funny because I, I remember going to your class and you remember I said whatever I paid, whatever it was, it could have been thousand dollars and it wasn't. It was about one hundred and fifty seven yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it was, right? it was, it was right. expensive. You, you gave me one piece of information that I knew and I didn't know. It was like, <laughs> you're, and it's funny when you say that because it's so obvious that I that, that I just didn't realize it. And you know, I, I'm doing the same thing. I just go bankrupt a few years ago, and I'm like, you know, I've got about twenty thousand dollars worth of. You're credit. perfect to talk to. Uh, exactly. You, right. you had the experience already. <laughs> right. 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 Exactly. <laughs> I had about twenty thousand dollars worth of credit uh, available to me on credit cards, and you know, and I'm like, and I'm grateful that I have the twenty thousand available now because I haven't had credit in such in such a long time. Mm-hmm. So what I forget though is that there are rules that I've known before and I forgot what they were yes. and you just happen to remind me of them yes. but it was we all know the rules but, right and, and the, one of the rules are is apply for as much credit as you possibly yes. can don't get what you need right Right, right. In fact, that's exactly the rule. The rule is if you wait for for when you need it, you mm-hmm. can't get it, and and you, this way you have it when you need it. You know, Larry, when's the worst time to need an umbrella? <laughs> when it's raining, <laughs> when it's right? Raining, right. Well, when's the worst time to go ask for money? When you need it, absolutely <laughs> exactly, right. Exactly. Right. Banks will give you all the money that you need if you show you don't need the money. Right. Right. It's funny like that. Uh, unless, unless you're like me, which is you know, I, I, which is which is just bizarre because I, I can never understand. This. And that's a paradigm shift. Yeah, and that's a weird thing, which is which is I ask for less money than I make, and less money than I have in a bank. Right. And they won't give it to me. Well, they they do. I mean, I, I shouldn't say they won't. It's just a pain in the neck because right. you know my income is hard to verify. It's not even that it's hard to verify. It's I have all these properties. I have this. I have that. I invest in this. I invest. In, you know, they they actually had to classify me. It was odd. They had to classify me as a day trader, mm-hmm. which I, I I am and I'm not. I mean, I guess by IRS rules I am. You know, because I trade my options and I had to show two years of options trading. And the guy's like, "There's no way you can make this money doing this." I'm like. Why well, yes. do you think that? If I my tax return says it, you think I want to pay this much taxes on money that I'm not making? Right. He didn't believe me, right. and I had to prove to him. I had to show, and then I had to show him twelve months of statements to prove that it was real. Right? Because you know the money you, you've seen the numbers I'm making yeah. two, three, four hundred thousand dollars in in stock options trading is just it's unheard of. And again, it came down to a paradigm shift. One day somebody said, you know, oh, if I make five or six or seven percent a year on my money, I'm doing really <laughs> well. Well, if I don't make five or six or seven percent a month i'm miserable exactly. in fact i'm typically doing 10 percent. i'm not even having that great of a year and i'm probably up seven percent or eight percent a month it's it's you know it's funny your 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 previous guest talked about credit and it's it's so true you know people want to have these high credit scores and that's fine if that's what you want to be right a consumer <laughs> right. but that that or that just shows, someone with a yeah, high credit score yeah but that shows no activity you know my score changes probably 18 times a day. Right. You know, I may begin the, the morning at, at a 7.25 and end the day at, at, at a 5.30. And I'm somewhere in between, you know. All because, the time, right. Right, sure. because that's your, your activity, your profile. So once you get to a level like where you're at, the banks don't look at your score necessarily now. They, they look more at your profile. How are you handling this credit? How are you handling this, this debt? And you have to show that by showing the banks that you can handle this stuff over time. Right. Right. Buying something on a credit card and paying it off next month shows no credit worthiness. It does not show how you handle money over over time. Right. Time is the time is the variable that that is needed to to ident- identify how good you are with with money that I may choose to give you. So I have to talk about your suit because you are the <laughs> sharpest dresser I know I, am. I have ever Thank seen. <laughs> and you know, and I remember going to your class and you know, and and uh, you know, and I'm sitting there in a t-shirt. And and you and, and you it was I have to tell you it was funny because like he he knew you know he, he it didn't take him long to realize that I was what they call uh, in his business a shark you know oh, sitting in the and audience and, and, right? and that's a good thing that's right a good thing right and he knew it was but but at the same time I, you know I was well behaved and in fact at, at the by the end I gave him a big hug because let I, me tell I, you Larry did just enough not to get kicked out. <laughs> 
Well, I don't know if Tiff would marry, but it had, but it had nothing to do with the class. It had to do nothing, with something stupid nothing. she did. I was re- I, I was really pissed. That I, I didn't even know about uh, that. I know, you know but, but, but that was but, different. And you've come to a couple of my classes after that. Yeah, I know. You know as a guest, just right. to come by and learn right. some more, which right. is and awesome. Exactly. And, I, and when I come into your class, I mean, I like you know, I stand up and you know, I, I'm yeah. one of your best, uh, one of your Advocates, biggest fans. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. even in the first one, I stood up and I said, you know, this is something you should do. You know, and again, you know, I remember the hotel. Right. I remember the hotel. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. But but again. But, but you know, I, I kind of lost my train of thought here. <laughs> the suit, the suit, the suit, Somebody right there. Suit, there yeah. And one of the strawberry shirts, and I'm sitting in there in a t-shirt. And at first, he doesn't believe that I really have what I have. And I, I, I watched his face change. You know, when I told him, you know, what I was, because in the class, you know, every time he asked a question, everybody would raise their hand and answer wrong, and I would be the only one to answer right mm-hmm. because I'm already there, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, I didn't understand it. And at first, he's like, "What's going on here? Why is this guy sitting in my class yes, in a t-shirt yes. with this stuff?" And he actually. At one point, made fun of me and, and you know pointed out his great. His, his great <laughs> so today, that. I had to make sure that I'm wearing a Robert Graham shirt. You know? There you go. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Yes, yes, yes. And I've stepped up my game a little bit. I should. I should. You've probably seen some of my jackets on Facebook, which is kind of cool. I'm watching. But, but tell me, <laughs> but tell me about your your outfit right now because uh, I want to let everybody know how how you get to dress so sharply. This is a this is a very very thank you. First of all, this is a very very simple Stacy Adams suit. Um, and uh, this is from my stop at store in Cape in, um, in Fort Myers, Florida, called A and T Susan Moore. So that's where I get my ties, my shirts, my suits from. And you get um, it from your own store, my own store, right? Yes. So that's what that was the key there, right? You get it from your own yep, store. Yeah, yeah. So I, I get paid to wear these suits. So um, and I, I don't know if I did it in your class, but I usually change suits every day. You, you change suits every hour. I did. Yeah. No, I, it was it was, it, it, a day, it was right? at lunch. Yes, right, yes, right. yes, yes. And people don't understand right. why I do that because it, it's 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 all a uh, it's all had to do with business, you know, but um, I've become a, a connoisseur of, 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 of suits and I never knew I looked so good in them until I had them on, you know, and lost some weight, obviously. Um, but uh, I, I, I enjoy wearing suits, um, you know, when the, 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 the topic or the, the, the situation um, calls for it. Um, other than that, you won't, I, I look like you. You know, but um, but these suits are. You would like me. Look like you. No, yeah. You know, normal, the, 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 normal. the way he said that. Do, do, should I take offense to that? No, you shouldn't. No, I was kidding. You shouldn't. Right, I'm just you shouldn't funny. because I'm just because what does the suit say? It says you've arrived. Is that what it says? Okay. Yeah. Well, how do you know I've arrived? Well, you know, you, you know, it's funny. You're absolutely right. I agree. I don't know you arrived until you start speaking. Exactly. And when pe- when you start saying the things you say, and, and you could you could you could pretend you've arrived, mm-hmm. but you, I mean, obviously you don't. But people can pretend they, yes. they've arrived. But you clearly, you know, it doesn't take long. And again, this is why you're here because, and this is why I admired you so much the day I met you and the, the three days I spent, you know, in your class. Because not only do you talk the talk. You walk the walk, and you don't take any bullshit. No, I don't. Um, I, I, I do, did my best not to curse the whole day, and that's the first time. <laughs> and it had but, to be me, right? It had to be you, right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's I the truth, I right? I don't. I don't. I don't. It, it's, I, you have one life, and you have to live that life as best you can. And um, you, you have to find people that, that will, will be straight with you and, 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 and tell you how it is. And, and, and that's how I am in my, in my rooms. I tell people, I say, you have to be this high emotionally ride this ride because I'm going to hurt your feelings because I'm going to challenge your belief because your beliefs in order for them in order for your in order for a belief to become a truth all right three things about the truth that people do not believe one they don't believe the truth okay that's true two the logic behind the truth and three the probability of, of the truth because before anything will become a truth to us we have to have the experience ourselves or know someone that we love and trust that I already had that experience. Other than that, the, the funny part is, even if you know someone who loves and trusts you, when they have the truth, you are skeptical. You're more skeptical right. when they tell you that they can do it too. I mean, I, I I tell my 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 brother, my parents, my you know my friends that hey, you can be a real estate investor too. No, you can't. I, I don't want I don't want tenants calling me in the middle of the night. I'm like, do you know how many tenants? In My 30, tenants don't call me. I was, exactly right. <laughs> in 36 years, in 36 years of doing this, I had one tenant ever call me in the middle of the night, and you know what I told him? Go back to bed. I'll have a plumber there in the morning. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and now I don't even answer the phone there because I know better. Here's why the truth hurts. It's because in order for it to become a truth, Larry, it has to tie. It has to bind itself to your ego. So. When you br- you bring someone the truth, they're going to have cognitive 
dissonance. Sure. And that's where a belief. I love that word, by the way. Yeah. You, you, you talk about dissonance. You talk about, yeah, you talk about that. I think it's the first hour of your presentation. Mm-hmm. You yeah. bring up that word. Yes. And, and that was the first hour I was going, oh. Exactly. Man. Yep. Yep. But, yep. but, it, took, but yep. it took me a little while yep. to because uh, that truth. To get it. Yeah. Sure. That truth. When I bring a belief that that doesn't correspond with your belief, it attacks that ego. But not only your ego, but maybe that person that told you that 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 truth, their ego as well. Because now I'm attacking your ego, your mother's, your father's, your friends, your family, whomever. Which is what which is what causes that conflict. That's why it's so important to find people um, or get used to. To, to be uncomfortable. Yeah, that's absolutely true. We had one. We had one last. So we, we kind of do a mixer every once in a while. We get a bunch of real estate investors together, and it was funny. We had a woman who walked in with her boyfriend, who happens to be one of our students. Mm-hmm. And the first thing she does is sit down next to me. And goes, I don't believe this stuff. I I think my boyfriend spent all this money on your program, and there's no way he's going to become rich. And I'm like, uh, your boyfriend bought a house two days after yeah he put, actually put in a contract he, he let it go but he had a two days after i mean I, that's an incredible <laughs> success story why would you think you can't do it and we had this whole story and finally by the end i convinced her at least to come to the class hopefully right. she'll show up but understand that you know she she just completely said it's impossible i said I, she, I don't believe that anybody could be taught this no anybody can be taught that and, and i and exactly what you said earlier they just have to really want it mm-hmm. and if they want it it'll happen if you want to become successful prepare for yourself to become uncomfortable prepare for yourself to have your feelings hurt have your feelings hurt i like that one too i know you always tell people that they hate you yeah i tell them well hey i tell them i said if you tell me if you give me an answer i'll know it's not true but i won't tell you that what I'll tell you is I respect your belief. That's great. Because that's your belief. It isn't the right. truth. Because anything that's not backed up by facts is a lie. So I'm going to ask you a question. Because I, 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 I do this with people mm-hmm. all the time. And I'm going to ask you a question. I want you to listen, I want you to, listen to the question carefully. Listen. What do you think of the question, would you rather be rich or be happy? Happy. Okay, so it's funny. You, you answered it wrong, too. Okay. Yeah, and here's, I'm going to ask the question again. I just figured you, you would get this, but, but let me see. Maybe you'll get it this time. All right. I'm going to ask the question again. Okay. What do you think of the question, would you rather be rich or happy? Oh, the question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the question, you were listening to the first time. I knew it. It's a paradox, you know, because it's like either, 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 either way can create happiness. Right. The, and and I always say that the the question is uh, it, it is the dumbest question on the planet it because is. one has nothing to do with the other. It doesn't. You can be rich and happy. You could be rich and miserable. You right. could be poor and happy, and you could be poor and miserable. Exactly. You just have to decide you want to be happy, and you have to decide you want to be rich. One has nothing to do with the other. Correct. Right. Correct. Isn't that awesome? Correct. Correct. So I am so sad that we are out of time. Oh, hey. But it, it's like, it's just, it was su- it's such a pleasure. You can hang around, right? Yes. So that, that'd yes. be cool because I'd yes. love to talk to you later. Although I'm, I'm stuck in here for another five hours. I'll Could you imagine talking that? talking to Ken. Could you ima- <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there's some other people out there too. Actually, uh, uh, you know, we got a couple of people, Dan Satofsky coming. And by the way, a bunch of people gave thumbs up. Dan Satofsky, Phil Falcone, my partner, James Peavy, D- Dan Gordon, and Terry, uh, Phil's, Phil's wife, also gave a bunch of thumbs up. I wanted to mention that so you can say hello to all those, Wonderful. those people. Wonderful. I, I want to say hello to everyone especially dan gordon my 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 mentor um extraordinaire um he's helped me become who i am today oh that's awesome and, and we'll continue. you got one minute tell me about dan 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 is a person that will bring out the the individual in you that you didn't know existed really yeah but dan he's an awesome he's an awesome he's someone that will hurt your feelings he, he will hurt your feelings there you <laughs> but, go. Right, right, right. but he's worth every penny of that wow he, he's 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 definitely helped me become who I am and I and I told Dan I said Dan don't change who I am you know just make me be better little did I know that he would change who I am that's great um, and and we have good conversations we have sad conversations we have happy ones you know but um, he has a bigger plan for me that I don't even know about so I trust him and did he uh, tell you to come here today uh, he, he said I encourage it oh well, that's cool well, yeah. I think I tell you, he, he said that this is great in capital letters he says Trevor is awesome. Now, and, and Dan, I gotta tell you, you, I, you get to you get to mentor this guy. I got to. It's time for you to call me because if you mentor this guy, I need to know. I need to, I need well, to know you well, too. Well, Larry, I, I, I tell you what, you're one of the few that can afford Dan. Okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you mean he's like ten bucks an hour or something? Something like that. Oh, okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. And, and 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 by the way, Derek uh, Harp cop, popped in and said, that's "You my, rock." That's Trevor. my Range Rover dude right there. there. You go. Yeah, that's my car dude. What's up, D? <laughs> All right, uh, that's it, man. I'm sorry. I got I got. We got to. We got to. Uh, we. I got to move on to the next person because I got five minutes in between people. Say goodbye to everybody. Wave, right. wave to everybody. Later, deuces. <laughs>